Do you remember back in the day when as soon as you got ready to launch something, the first thing you'll do is try to get a flyer made, and you'll say, I can't start marketing or promoting it yet because I don't have a flyer. Well, in today's episode, I'm going to break down how that's a bad decision. Three things you should do to get ready to launch a product, a course, program, or any of those things. What are the steps you should take to actually launch what you're putting out, okay? Quit the flyer, quit the website. If you're saying you got to wait until you get a flyer to promote, you're definitely not promoting and you're definitely not launching. I'm on a mission to teach coaches and entrepreneurs how to make more, work less, hire their funnel, and let the funnel do the work. If you're ready, join me on Monetize with Marcus Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Monetize with Marcus Podcast. I'm your host, Marcus Y. Rosier. You're stuck with me. But today's episode, I'm excited about. I almost want to put my hood on because it's about to get rough. Now, let me give you that big boy talk. There's a huge difference between marketing, promotion, right? So when people, like, I know, I used to do the same thing. Back in the day, I used to think that all I needed was a flyer. And like, hey, what you got coming up? Oh, I'm about to launch my program. I wasn't really about to launch it. I was just about to post a flyer on social media. And that's not the same thing. Now, be honest with me. Have you made that same mistake where you start thinking that you're just going to keep posting that flyer over and over again? I know people who with albums, that they are artists, and all they think about is getting the graphic work done. I know people who are coaches, and all they think about is getting the flyer. But here's the big thing. Most people spend all of their money on everything except marketing. They don't think through the launch strategy. So I want to walk you through very quickly. This is going to be a short episode. What's what's a few steps? Now, I teach inside of Sales Funnel Made Simple. I teach a six-step launch strategy of exactly what to do leading up to you launching a product, a program, a course, an ebook, or any of that. I'm going to give you three of them, not because I don't want to give you all six. I just don't have the time, okay? All right, take these three and be happy, be married. But you can go check out Sales Funnel Made Simple. So here's the deal. There are different phases and different actions you take in each phase. So I want to walk you through it. Instead of just grabbing a flyer, instead of just getting a website made and just sp- almost social media spamming people to death, <laughs> right? just keep posting the same thing, here is the thought process of what you do first. And the first phase of your lunch, you should definitely write this down. I call it a courtesy phase. It's a courtesy phase of launching any product, program, service. I mean, it doesn't matter. What are you doing? What's the courtesy phase? This is where you are offering the same value you eventually plan on charging for. See, where people get a chance to experience you, you get a chance to you get a chance to serve them, they get a chance to try you out, and you also get to gather data. Now, you know on the back end in your courtesy phase that you plan on selling, but they don't. This is how you start building out people. You start figuring out the interest. So let's say right now, If I knew I wanted to teach a group of people how to build funnels, in the courtesy phase, I start putting out content on how to build funnels. All of the people that I'm serving in my courtesy phase, I then create strategy to move them forward. See, this is a lunch. It's incremental steps that lead to that end result. So in my courtesy phase, let's just say if I decided in the courtesy phase to give away content, to run ads, things of that nature. Let's just say, and I'm not selling anything. I'm just giving away information. I'm going live. I'm doing a podcast. That's a courtesy phase. It doesn't cost you anything, but it provides value to a specific group of people. Courtesy phase could also be, if you'll say if you're a chef, where you start doing pop-up, pop-up things in a truck and giving away the food. So now people are like, what is this? What's the name of the restaurant? And your courtesy phase, it has strategy. It's a part of your marketing. You're getting the name out there. You're getting people familiar with you. You're getting people interested. So Marcus, how do I move from the courtesy phase to the next phase? They're connected because it's all a part of the strategy, right? So I go from courtesy to curiosity. So and I, because I speak about selling courses, digital products, and programs, I'm going to make this conversation all about that. Okay, so I would take my courtesy phase, putting out value based content free of charge. And now I want to take I want to see who all is is taking advantage of my courtesy and want to move to the next phase of curiosity. This is where I might decide and say, hey, I decided for the next six weeks, every week, I'm going to do a free live or free webinar. Now, people, this is where you create a landing page. This is where you create a wait list. You're trying to see who's willing to not just take advantage of your courtesy, but who's curious enough to actually sign up for it. So you say, hey, if you want to stay in the loop and 
of me doing, I'm doing pop-up trainings, doing uh, sales funnel reviews, looking at your data and showing you how you can improve your sales funnel. I would have been putting out value content in my courtesy phase, but I want to segment people to see who's ready to move to the next phase. Now, I'm going to set hard numbers and say, I want to see if I can get 300 people in my, in my curiosity phase. So I'm going to continue putting out content in the courtesy phase, and I'm looking at the data, and I say I'm going to keep doing it and segmenting people until we reach 300. You see, you see how this is a launch strategy with real data. Posting a flyer don't give you this because it's not strategy, right? I'm a strategy guy. So I'm like, okay, I move, move from courtesy to curiosity. And I say, okay, I'm going live every week. And if I'm going, or I'm trying to build up my wait list. All those people now have moved from the, the pool of people in courtesy to curiosity. What's the next phase? Next phase, I tell people, is community. So this might be a private group. This might be where I say, hey, join my private Facebook group, my text message list. Now, I'm going to send out a text message to you. Every Friday, I'm only taking 100 people, or I'm only taking 10 people, and I'm going to give you a free funnel that I built inside of my system. Now, the people that were in my curiosity phase, I just made them to go even deeper into now community. Well, now they're talking to me. I'm asking questions. Or let's say I'm doing monetize, monetize the markets Mondays, where it's a free business review. And I, and I say, hey, first come, first serve. Everybody got to submit your question. I'm forming a community out of it. Every day they're hearing from me. I'm building relationship with them. Notice how I took them from the pool of courtesy to this curiosity in the curiosity phase, I make you take an action. You can't just like and comment. You got to sign up for something. I want to see if you're curious enough to stop what you're doing and give me what we call a micro commitment. A micro commitment is where you just make a small commitment. It's not money yet, but it's enough to say, Hey, once a month on a Thursday night, I'm doing a mastermind. Are you willing to set it on your calendar to actually show up? That means you moved from courtesy to curiosity. Courtesy is I'm doing it for free. Curiosity, you're willing to stop what you're doing and arrange your life around it. Community is where at the curiosity event, let's say a once a month mastermind, I then say, hey, for those who, who love what we're doing once a month, what we're also going to do is we're going to have a private group where you can sign up for blah, blah, blah. Now I just strategically move them. I set hard dates, data, and deadlines, and I can move them along the lines to then launching. Now, there's other steps to it. Like I move out of community and I'll normally I'll, I'll normally in step four do a, a call to action. That's where I clearly ask you for your money, <laughs> right? But you, you see how that's very different from just throwing something out there. You're progressively moving people with real hard data. And that, my friends, is a few steps of how you launch a course, a program, an ebook. I hope you've enjoyed today's short form episode of how to launch. I want to hear feedback from you. Holla at me, Marcus. Why Rose? You're on all social media. If you want to learn more things like this, you can go to monetizewithmarcus.com. It's a whole list of information. We'll go to monetizemarkets.com backslash podcast, backslash podcast. And you're going to see a list of what I'm, what I'm doing now is uploading on that page, like things that we learn, things that I do on a podcast. I'm going to give you some video training, some free things that you can find there. So go to monetizemarkets backslash podcast, and it'll break down in more detail about this launch strategy and ways that we could even work together, all right? I'll see you in the next episode of Monetize with Marcus.